can't believe this is what happened. This is totally unexpected. This is a nice surprise. Today we're gonna have another fun video. We're actually going to check three different mediums and see how they work for image transfer. I get lots of comments from people about using Mod Podge for image transfer. I know some people just love Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I hope I'm saying it right. I think nobody really knows how to pronounce it. So let's put it to the test against Elmer's School Glue and see which one works better for image transfer. Or maybe they work the same. And if they do work the same, this will be good news to a lot of us because uh, Elmer's glue is readily available. And I'm not sure, but I think it also costs less than a uh, Mod Podge. Oh yeah, and we're going to use an inkjet printer today. So everything today is low tech and inexpensive and fun. Yeah, so let's go. I'm going to use the classic glass Mod Podge. And if you never heard of it, it is a water-based glue and finish. And we're going to test it against Elmer's School Glue, which is apparently number one teacher brand. And just to have a more exciting experiment, we're going to use a third type of glue, a PVA glue, which is often used for book binding. And by the way, this type of process works on many surfaces like wood, canvas, or even glass. And we are going to transfer to a canvas board. And we need to print a mirrored inkjet photo on standard weight copy paper. So we are going to transfer the same photo onto the same surface using three different types of glue. Okay, so we're going to start with the school glue and I'm going to apply a good amount of it and spread it evenly with a brush. Next, I'm going to place my photo face down onto the wet glue and press it down with my fingers or use an old card to remove any air bubbles and create a good bond. Next, we're going to transfer with the Mod Podge. And if you like this video, you're going to love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's on Amazon. Okay, so now we're going to let our transfer dry for about an hour. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe. I make these type of videos every week and you don't want to miss one. I will be very happy if you come back. <laughs> and if you don't want to wait for the transfer to dry, you can always use a hair dryer on low settings. So now that the transfers are dry, you can actually already see a difference. For some reason, the Elmer's glue transfer is more visible from the back. Okay, so now I'm going to spray the back of the transfer with water and carefully begin removing the paper. And I'm careful as much as possible to not remove the image itself. I'm going to repeat the same process with the other two transfers.
And now in order to finish and protect the transfers, I'm going to coat them with gloss varnish. So yeah, I actually didn't expect these results at all. So as you can see, the PVA glue worked the best. And it's good because it's acid free and I think it's gonna be more archival than the other two. I'm actually surprised to see that Mod Podge did the worst with areas where the photo actually came off. Maybe Mod Podge need to cure overnight, but if it does, that's actually a strike against it. Because many times I like to make something really quickly, like a card or a really quick gift for someone. So I don't always have the time to wait for something for a few hours. I can't believe this inexpensive stuff actually works better. Totally didn't expect it. So what do you think? Are you surprised by these results? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this uh, experiment today. Are you gonna steal Elmer's glue from your child now and use it for image transfer? Yeah, also let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me testing other type of glue. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed doing this experiment with you. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Also, I have good news. I started working on a new book. The working title of the book is the new mixed media photography book. So yeah, it's gonna have all new processes, stuff that I came up with since I wrote the previous book. There's a lot of work going into a new book. Uh, there's uh, writing it and editing and designing it and everything else. And But I enjoy it. I love working on the book. I love creating books and I hope you're gonna love the book too. <laughs> Not sure how long it's gonna take me, but you'll be the first to know when it's published and it's available on Amazon. Medium basic, uh, because Enver's glue is real. So everything today is... Uh, <laughs> Nitsa Creative Studio testing channel. You can also get an ebook version. And if you like this process, check it. I'm actually surprised to see that Mod Podge work. What is it? How do you pronounce it? And what's the point of even using Mod Podge if Elmer, Elmer, the other two that we tried. All right, calm down, Nitsa. You can also download an ebook version from Etsy. So check out the links to the book below this video. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know how to talk. <laughs> Sorry about that.